so recently my android device was fucked up and i don't have any option instead of just to go to the service center to change the whole screen to fix this issue up so my currently my right screen is currently not working so even if your bottom part or the top part or the left part is not working don't worry guys this video is for you so let's fix this issue issue up and he, before starting this now let me just tell you a brief idea of what actually is going on so as you could see my right part is not working so what i am doing here is i'm shifting all the thing towards the right so that i can easily access all the features of the app easily so before starting this now let me just just start and now let me just actually explain explain you a little further so as you will see my right part is not working right so it can be your top left or even bottom case but in my case it my right side is not working so what i did is i moved the whole uh, apps to work uh, within the uh, towards the center or i moved them by 70 pixels so 70 pixel is my uh, dead screen part that means even if i touch there nothing will work so what i did i just moved all the apps towards the the center by 70 pixel so if similarly if you have a bottom part you could just do it this way also you will just uh, move them to the top from the bottom and that so before starting this now let me just tell you the command which we are working here is this one guys and as you can see the red left top right uh, bottom is this the other option which we are going to work on so as in my case my right side is not working so i will only only change the right coordinates and if you have the bottom left or top you can just change as per your requirement so Let's begin with this video guy it's guys and here we go so first of all what you need to do is just make sure that you have enabled the usb debugging guys so for that what you need to do is just go ahead to a setting and make sure that you have clicked on the mio version or whatever the version you are just two two three four times and once you have just enabled the develop option and just go ahead to the addition setting and just click on the develop options and enable the usb debugging so that's it once you're done with that just go ahead and download the adb.rr i will just put the link in the description and make sure that if you have already installed the uh, uh, DDB driver. If not, you can install this up. So once you're done with that, guys, just uh, make sure that you have clicked on. Uh, make sure that who by holding the shift, just click uh, right click and click on the open command prompt. So once you're there, now what we do is we will use this command uh, to work on. And now let's start. So I'm writing the whole command. And as I said, my right part is not working, so I will only change the third coordinate not the whole just the third coordinate that is my left part so if uh, so i move over, so i'm doing it 70 and now now let me just show you the whole demo of how it will actually work like so just as you can see my uh, the whole screen is looking like something like this by default now when i will press enter now i'm just show you now if i press the enter as you can see my whole screen will move towards uh the center and as you can see now it is covering up the whole dead scrub uh, dead pixel and but then also i can't touch the 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 three icon so now let me just do it on 90 you will see the resolution has changed and as you can see uh, now i can easily touch i was facing just two problems guys the one is of course whenever i try to touch the icons in my dead pixel zone i wasn't able to open that up and so and also the second problem was i can't touch the pl backspace or similar to uh, whatever keys in may be your, in your case i wasn't able to touch because it was going towards the dead pixel zone so what i did is first of all just go ahead and replace uh, your google keyboard if installed to the swift key uh, by, by default and once you're done with the swift key guys now next what you need to do is just go ahead and install the visor guys just go ahead and just download this up and the main feature of this is we can control your device from the pc itself and you can also touch towards the dead pixel zone and control uh, from whatever what you want so just go ahead and open that up make sure that you have enabled the install via usb if you have, if you have this option and, ma and making sure that the usb debugging has been enabled just go ahead and install this up so automatically it will make an icon on your desktop I just click on open and automatically just click on view so at the first run it will just uh, show you the installation just go ahead and click on install and once you're done with the installation and after some time it will just show you your whole device on your 
desktop PC itself. So just once you're there, now as you can see from my mouse cursor itself, I can just go ahead and configure my whole device as per my need. So let's go ahead and fix the first issue. Uh, now let's set up the keyboard itself. So what I did is just go ahead and open the Swift key, guys. And once you're here, uh, just make sure to click on the resize. And once you're here, now uh, resize uh, as per your working screen on your device. And also you can cross check uh, from your the device itself by tapping on your device. So as, so in my case, my this region is currently working and I have also uh, checked it by tapping on my device and my PLM is now working perfectly. So now let's, let's solve the second issue, the home screen issue itself. So what I did is just go ahead and uh, move all the icons towards the working part so it may be easy to launch or make a group uh, of that icons if you're getting that options so that's it well everything is working now guys so instead of uh, spending whole money on changing the whole screen you can just work around by in this way if you are low on money or whatever you don't want to change <laughs> your phone so that's it guys, I hope this one video is really helpful and please don't forget to like and subscribe, this is your host Mr. Nivastra, see you in my next video, signing out.